Ah, hello there, good people in the internet. Welcome, welcome. This is Ken. This is... I don't know what this is these days. Uh, Ken Burton Show, Ken Plays, I don't know, something. Or you can call me Alderus if you prefer. Now, as you can see, we are on a Sheikah Island. We're in DMZ and uh, a couple of things I want to have a quick chat about on this one because I really, I would welcome your comments. It is just bizarre the way that some streamers uh, act especially when you're starting out because i support twitch i support streamers um and <laughs> I, yeah you do though don't you i mean especially if you've done it i i did it you know it was it was you stream when i started and uh, i think it was just in tv as well for a while and then it became twitch and twitch was okay but it was in its infancy when i started it i was literally there at the beginning and it's very different now of course a lot of tools a lot, lot easier for people to actually put together a channel and start streaming and that's a good thing that's a good thing anyone that can make it on twitch has my vote so i like to assist people and what i do to assist people is i follow some of the smaller streamers the the guys that get kind of a hundred minus uh watching their channel and what i'll do is if i come across one of these guys and he's entertaining he's quite good i will tweet him out i'll put him on facebook i will talk about him i'll social you know i'll do all these sort of things um and you know d d some of the streamers i started following and i was doing that and then they turned out to be just toxic twats uh the sort of guys that you know they they won't pick anyone up in uh in game um they won't they won't revive people instead of that they just put some hurtful fucking horrible comment and then walk away from them and leave them bleed out you know it's it's like it's it's a terrible thing but it's you don't only get that with with streamers you get that with a lot of players but you also get random teammates who instead of resing you when you die they will just take your gear and walk away right it, this has happened to me so often but you know when you are a streamer and you are starting out and you you're in the hundred mark okay it's taken you a little while to get there but you're in the hundred mark and you want to make that the thousand mark you want a thousand people watching your stream okay watch out who you choose as mods <laughs> it's a little golden tip for you one particular streamer right now five or six of these streamers they do a sort of community days and you know you can go in and they'll help you get the challenges the missions that you can't really get normally and uh, especially solo and i uh, like partook of one of these uh, offers on a particular streamer and i'm not going to name and shame him but uh what happened was he's he had a discord channel and what he does is he has a waiting room in the discord channel waiting to play and what you do is you put yourself in there and it, his mods will look at that monitor that and say right this guy's in there and if somebody else comes in it will be okay who was first well this guy was first and that's how it should work right so um <laughs> what i did was i joined this waiting room to get in with this streamer so that i could deal with a couple of these um a uh, couple of these missions i couldn't do on my own and uh his mods when the game started right he's he said um right name of mod who's the first one and the mod went oh it's such and such and i thought no it isn't it's me in fact the guy you've just mentioned isn't even in the waiting room but those are the rules aren't they aren't those the rules you at great pains to remind everybody what the rules are all the time but i was first and now there's some other guy there really okay so the mod has uh brought someone else in they have a few games they do a few missions i hang around two hours later and i am the only person in the waiting room 
he the, the streamer then says right who's uh who's next then who's next and the mod re reads out a name <laughs> that's not me either so the fuck is going on and it took me a little while to twig what was happening what he was doing was bringing his mates in he was basically saying to his mates to try and look big in front of his his mates and perhaps people that he plays with oh i can get you in with this top streamer to help you get that mission done and they just ignored and it's not the streamer's fault the the streamer is merrily just doing his his stuff and he got two mods who just overwritten the rules and decided that they didn't want to abide by the rules they want to bring their mates in right okay the end result of that is this i cancelled my subscription to this guy right <laughs> i know petty but i did i cancelled my subscription i'd been subscribed to this guy for five months and i cancelled my subscription i don't watch him anymore there are a lot of other dmz dmz streamers out there who are very good and i enjoy watching so it's just a question oh look at me here look i can't find it <laughs> what a twat i'm looking at me mini map thinking where is it, it must have sank it fucking floats nobody <laughs> tell me these things float <laughs> so i find it eventually it took me ages surprised didn't get shot so um yeah so the end result is my friend uh, you've lost a viewer and to be quite frank and not only a viewer not a follower you've lost a subscriber and when you are a hundred less uh, number of people watching you on any given day or your averages are sort of in the 50s 60s you can't afford to lose people especially people that shout you on socials every time they start watching you and say oh you want to come and look at that and, I, and to be honest it worked because i was in um his chat watching his stream and i tweeted him out and um a few people came into his chat and went oh um Alderis has sent me in here and it was because of my tweet so you know you you do yourself no favors you've got to really be very fussy about who you choose as your mods you just do and when you do choose your mods make sure they follow the fucking rules or else you're just gonna piss people off simple okay so we cut the crap out of this uh, particular game because it became toxic with an awful lot of um, voice chat listening to i shouted you yeah fuck off uh and uh the squad gets eliminated some days you have good days on dmc the yesterday i had a fantastic day on dmc today all i'm doing is getting shot right it's uh, and nobody's picking me up and it's just a pain in the ass okay that's my battle pass you see where i am i've got another token here so let's unlock something and that is one sexy weapon to the right of that uh you'll see that uh missions wise i've got about as far as i can go on my own i can't do any more missions um upgrades i unlocked the second slot uh and i'm working on cooldowns now but unlocking that third slot eight gold skulls yeah that ain't gonna happen mate <laughs> i can't i can't see me getting eight gold skulls can you really um so whilst they improve things if anything they made the second slot too easy it was just a piece of piss but the uh the third slot no and as i say i've reached about the end of where i can go with missions if i'm going to game on my own yeah so um that's been interesting and i bought the battle pass and so i got a few levels and you know it was it worked really well guys this has been ken uh the or alderis and as ever i will see you on the dark side take care guys